Hey, what's up everyone, Ollie here. So with the introduction of the M1 Max and a lot of people buying them, including myself, you're most likely going to need a USB adapter slash dongle because obviously the M1 Max only have two USB-C ports, which is very limiting on what you can actually do. So I'm sure a lot of you, including myself, have been looking at adapters and seeing what there is. So I've got three adapters here that I wanna recommend. And yeah, they sort of cover a lot of different sort of use cases. But yeah, I just basically wanted to cover them because these are the three that I'm using and the three that I recommend. Right, so we have three USB-C hubs here that you can see. So we have one by a company called Vava. I think that's how you say their name. And then we also have a Satechi one. So ignore this Velcro strip I have on here. The reason I have the Velcro strip is because I actually usually have it on the back of my monitor. But yeah, that's the Satachi one. And then we also have another one by a company called QGM. This one's actually quite nice. I quite like the glass finish on it. But yeah, each of these docks are different priced as well, different prices, and they have different functionality and features. So we'll start with the cheapest of the bunch, which is the QGM one. So yeah, this one is only $30. Very, very affordable for a USB-C dock, I think. And yeah, it just has a nice sort of glass finish on the front and it has I think it's plastic, I don't think it's metal, but I could be wrong because it doesn't doesn't feel like metal to be honest. When it comes to ports and functionality, there is a USB-C power port there. So you can plug in your usual power cable that you get with your Mac for example, and it will deliver up to 100 watts of power. So this is actually one of the only ones that can deliver 100 watts of power. The other ones are around 60 watts. So if you have a bigger, 16 inch macbook pro you should be able to get the most power out of your charger by using this one but with these ones these ones will actually work fine with the macbook air and the 13 inch macbook pro because those two machines come with power adapters that are less than 60 watts anyway so yeah you know if you have a 16 inch macbook pro or just want more power out of your charger this might be the one that you have to go for it also has a hdmi port here the HDMI port only supports 4K at 30 hertz though, not 60 hertz. And then there's also an SD card slot, a micro SD card slot. And then on this side, we have another USB-C port. And then over here, we have a headphone jack and two normal USB ports. So it's quite a nice full featured dock, USB-C dock. It does attract a lot of fingerprints, as you can see. I literally just wiped it down before this video. But anyway, yeah, it's, it's, it's good quality. For $30, I think this is actually a really good and well-priced dock. But because of the price and the brand that I've never heard of, to be honest, I wouldn't say it's the highest quality and I don't know how well it will do in the long term. For the past month or two that I've had it though, it's performed really well and it's and it's done the job. The next one is by Satachi. So this one has a really nice finish to it. I think it's metal on the outside. It feels like metal and it has a space gray finish to it. So if you have a space gray MacBook, this one would match quite well, but they do also do it in silver. So when it comes to ports and functionality, you have an SD card slot, you have a micro SD card slot, you have a USB-C port, you also have a normal USB port, and you have an ethernet jack. Ethernet jacks aren't actually that common. You also have two more USB ports, normal USB ports, you have a mini display port, and you also have HDMI. This HDMI port only supports 4K at 30 hertz though, so keep that in mind, 30 hertz only. I think when it comes to using any of these two adapters, the QGM and the Satachi one, you're probably better off obviously connecting the adapter to your Mac and then powering your Mac through the USB-C port that it has and then using the port that's left on your Mac to power a external display if you use an external display that is. This one is pricey though at $90, it's three times the price of the QGM one but it is better quality and Satachi are a more established brand so you're more likely to get better support and have a better quality product. The final one is Vava. So this one's quite large. It's quite a large USB-C dock. I think this one actually is better for people who maybe use their laptop at home a lot, who have it connected up to an external display and want this sitting on the desk so they have access to all the ports because I think it looks quite nice when it's sitting on the desk like this and you have access to all the ports. When it comes to ports on this one, there are a lot. So you have a normal USB port that's only 2.0 speeds, and then you have two USB ports, normal USB ports with 3.0 speeds, and then you have a SD card slot, micro SD card slot, another ethernet jack, a normal USB port again, and then you have two HDMI ports. So yeah, if you wanna connect up two displays, you can do that. And if you connect up one display, only one, 
you actually get 4K at 60 hertz, which is great. These two only support 4K at 30 hertz, and this one supports 4K at 60 hertz. There's also a dedicated power delivery port on this one, capable of delivering 18 watts of power. So it should be able to fast charge quite a few devices, but to get the power out of this, you actually need to connect it up to a DC mains adapter basically. And there is one provided in the box, not to worry. So yeah, you do get a power adapter included in the box with this one. And finally, around the side, there is also a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So yeah, you can connect up headphones and speakers if you like. When it comes to the materials used on this one, I feel like the materials are okay, it is plastic. I do like the finish and the look of it though. But the only problem is, it's already scratched up. You can see the black gloss here has scratched up quite severely. Um, I think I must have scraped something against it. I can't remember what happened to it. Um, it's not made from metal, as far as I can tell. It is plastic, but I actually think it's still the best looking one here. This one is $99, so it is the most expensive out of all of them, but it's also the most capable. So yeah, those are the three USB-C docks that I'm using right now. If I had to recommend one, it would actually be the QG one. I think the QG one for the price, it's actually really good and it will do what most people want. The reason I like this one is because I like to use it at my desk. Same with this one. I like to use this one on the back of my monitor as a USB hub sort of thing so that I can have it attached and just put in SD cards and whatever else. And it also has the ethernet jack. So this one also has the ethernet jack too. And for me to get the most out of my gigabit internet connection at home, I need an ethernet jack. So that's one of the main reasons why I use these two. But if I was traveling or if I didn't need the ethernet jack, I would probably just stick with this one. I think for the price, it's probably the best one that you can get. But you know, when it comes to quality and stuff, I mean, it, it feels quite solid as, as it is, but when it comes to actual, how long it will last and, and customer service and things, that's to be seen. But for $30, it's by far the cheapest here. It's three times cheaper than, than these two pretty much. And yeah, it's the one I recommend. But if you are looking for one with a ethernet jack, probably go with the Satachi one or the Vava one. You know, if you're someone who likes to have their Mac connected to two displays, this one also could work. But then at the same time, if you just have this connected in one port and then you have a display coming out of here, or coming out of one of these, and then you connect the display directly to a Mac, that's probably better. That's what I do. I connect my display directly to my Mac. Um, I use the LG 5K UltraFine display, and yeah, that one works great because it has a USB hub on the back, and I just put this on the back. If you wanna check that out, I've actually covered it in my uh, desk setup video. In my desk setup video, you can see how I've got this hooked up to the back of the monitor and using it as a USB hub. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found a USB dock that you can work with. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.